Hello, Banjo. Yes, videoing now. So we're all hanging out in the art studio. Laura Jean is making some of her art. And I'm about to start mine. And Alex is, and <laughs> Alex is playing Minecraft. And Everett is watching because they just finished all their homeschool assignments. And they learned about Chinese cooking. And they did their reading, reading assignments. They have what several. Animal did you read or learn about Everett? What animal did you learn about? Uh, we learned about like uh, a bunch. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. Have sweat that um, if you even touch it, then you'll um, get like your heart will fail and stuff like that. Scary. Where, yeah. where is that? Where do they live? Like, uh, the Amazon. Hmm. Yet one more reason to live in Idaho and not the Amazon, I guess. <laughs> These are the Pages that I made for the boys. Oh, yeah. So here's some of the Everest. homework pages that no, Laura Jean made. Alex's. That one's Alex's? That so, yeah, they started out with these, learning about China. It's kind of fun. I think they did a good job. <laughs> here's. You think we did a good job? <laughs> I know they did a good job. Okay, I know they did a good job. Sorry. <laughs> we didn't just write it down. Yeah. It's kind of fun. That's a good way to introduce a new country. I think. <laughs> so Lurgeon's been having a lot of fun designing new characters and, um, have you already shown your, um, like little clip art thingies that you're doing? The little antique drawings? While she's grabbing those, I want to show you these little things. She's been doing a lot of, um, stuff with marker lately, but these ones are colored pencil. And I think she is phenomenal at hair, especially. Uh, these are really cute, I think. I don't know if she wants me to show you the other things, so I will wait. <laughs> In the meantime, this is an ugly view, but... Can you hear the, the springtime birds? The red-winged blackbirds, particularly, up there in the tree? I love that sound. Anyway, we are starting to hear the sounds of spring, and it's just awful nice to be getting several what days of. <laughs> well, not officially, but it feel, it's feeling more like it, huh? Yeah. It's nice to officially be um, getting rainstorms instead of snowstorms day after day, and we have to wake. Oh, that's that's bright. Wow. Um, I'll turn it around because you don't want to look at me. Here's that one. Okay, oh yeah. Up. So these are all just done in just. Sharpie permanent marker. Just been practicing calligraphy more, but I just think these are phenomenal. Just totally freehanded. I mean, they're sketched out in pencil first, but, but golly, they're awesome. This is so unlike the stuff that, that I do, and yet um, kind of remind me, reminds me of like doodles that I might have done in high school or something. It's broken. That's broken? Oh. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> so these are, you know, she's getting ready to maybe make a calendar that we could use. And a garden or animal chore type of um, to-do list. Right, am I? Yeah. Yeah? Just things for like a planner or organizer or to put in your journal. Lots of different purposes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I have like a thousand million things in my head. Like, I think it'd be really cool to take, like, these ideas that I did for the boys homeschool, um, kind of do the same thing, but ha you could do it with, like, scripture study, you write down what verse you're studying, or you could do more of a, a chore chart or a planner. And then, of course, I can't just have it be graphs and stuff. I have to have doodles. In my journal, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where these have come in, and I, uh, you know, different clip arts to correspond with the <laughs> the thing that you're 
trying to organize, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> we'd show you her journal, but we actually made a video of it. And then we're like, you know what? People are totally going to pause that and read <laughs> every page of her journal as she's flipping through it. <laughs> and it's not really a journal, it's like diary, so. <laughs> Cute unicorn. Oh, yeah, that's not one of mom's illustrations, but that's cute, huh? Oh, maybe you shouldn't be up on the table. <laughs> Careful. Mm, I think mom wants them. She wants to keep them. <laughs> so we haven't made a video for several days because we had major technical issues when we were trying to upload to um, upload the videos for Banjo's birthday. Hmm? <laughs> when we were trying to make the video of your birthday, it just wouldn't upload for several days, in fact, which is why it was so late. Oh, my unicorn birthday. Your unicorn birthday, that's right. And uh, it can get very frustrating when internet doesn't work properly and when the programs that you're trying to interface with each other don't, um, don't talk to each other. And these are not problems that we used to deal with when we were just kind of set up and just on a roll with YouTube um, because we got a new, much nicer computer to do everything on, but we didn't have our, our same um, programs all set up. And so it's just, we've kind of been reinventing the wheel a little bit with that. But also, as you know, we've been focusing on other things as well. So that's kind of that story. I want to show you it's one of my recent paintings. Of course, it's Lizzie trying to go for, you know, I used to paint really um, traditional looking stuff. And I guess this is, this is still a traditional type of um, subjects, but I, uh, I was always a little bit tired of, of them just looking like any old painting out there of that type of subject. And so I just wanted to include little um, pieces of, of, I don't know, de deconstructed areas of my paintings. It's been, been fun for me to explore that. And uh, I was actually, I, I had um, a friend who was also a student of art come over for several days to, to learn from me. And uh, in his opinion, what I'm doing with this is painting a nice painting and then and then ruining it. <laughs> but I mean, you know, half jokingly, he was telling me you've ruined all these paintings by putting these types of, of things in there, you know, all these shapes. But again, I think um, I think it's more interesting. Do any of you like? I'm, I'm comparing it to this. Do any of you go to a seashore and find seashells, and for some reason you pick up the ones that are more rounded and um, maybe not quite perfect. I do. Um, I, I, I love to find rocks that are um, broken or cracked, and particularly seashells, that aren't perfect. Because in my mind, if I find a perfect seashell, well, it's, it's kind of cool to find it. It's actually kind of rare these days. But, um, but I could go to any dollar store or Hobby Lobby or something like that and find one of the, find a bag full of those perfect seashells for a dollar or two. And to me, it's just, it's cheap. It's, it's almost um, gotten to the point where they're so common that it's, it's not even interesting anymore. And a seashell that is, is ground down by the elements, by the sand and the, the oceans, currents and uh, the wave action and everything. It sort of has a history and a story, and it's been through some things. It, um, it has a, a life that's a little bit more interesting. And uh, you know, I, I just rec recently learned that, that in China, um, it's kind of a long-standing tradition that if something breaks, they actually honor and revere it a little bit more than something that's new a lot of times because it has that same sort of um, history and story behind it. And because it's been through, been through something, it, um, it has more value. And so sometimes they'll actually repair it and, and infill this crack with, with some gold or another precious item or, uh, or element. And in that way, they're honoring the, the, the object's past. And they, uh, they revere um, kind of perfect imperfection 
but I think that's um, what I like in my life. Granted, our house is still imperfectly imperfect, but <laughs> we're going for a, a handmade imperfect perfection. Um, and I like that with my art. Um, here's what I'm working on. Just, uh, it's just the beginnings. We're just barely blocked it in. But that's what I'm doing. I just think it's a neat scene. And after I finish it, then I'll kind of unfinish it by bringing in some of these abstract shapes and, you know, putting them throughout. And it just kind of creates a, a life and a movement to it. Anyway, that's <laughs> for those of you who have interest in art. Anyway, this is kind of our, how our day goes every day. We do homeschool and we just hang out here for a lot of the day. And as the days get warmer here, we'll be spending more time outdoors. And instead of creating worlds and buildings online on, uh, on Minecraft, the boys have expressed interest in, in making things on their own out of concrete, which is really fun for me to hear. <laughs> I'm excited to do something with them. Um, we don't have any chickens. We're going to plan on getting chicks again. They're a lot more expensive than they used to be. Uh, but we're going to get some chicks. Banjo's excited about that. That'll be fun, huh? Like this. So we need to make a chicken like coop. This. So that's an upcoming outdoor project. Like this. I need to fix and finish the roof of our house. Like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's another thing. But most importantly, I need to get this painting done. Get it shipped off. All right, thanks for joining us. We will see you soon. Bye.